Welcome back guys. I would like to show you how to find the sample size given the population standard deviation and standard error of the mean. Again, how large the sample? We don't know that we will find out. Okay. So I'll, this kind of problem you can find in, um, you know, distribution of a sample mean in any textbook, any textbook on the software called distribution of the sample mean. Okay. So I'll, what is known? So this is known here given as standard deviation so standard deviation is given as a 15 remember this is not a standard error of the mean this is standard deviation given as 15 so how large the sample size we don't know that so n is equal to unknown we don't know that they said have that means something we know standard error that is greater than 10 point so i'll standard error so that's sigma sub m that's a standard error is equal to 10 points well maybe i want to put down greater than 10 points okay because the problem says greater than right well this is what is given now we would like to actually introduce a formula otherwise you cannot actually find that what is the formula formula is standard error of the mean is equal to sigma in this case Population standard deviation over square root of n. So clearly we know we know this sigma, we know this one, right? All we do, look at this here. What I mean, I know this is given, and also this is given. All we do, we just substitute and cross multiply or do any way you know how to isolate the variable, you know. So well, let's take a look. 10 is equal to 15 over square root of n. So clearly, if I don't have anything on the bottom of the 10, any whole number can be divided by 1 and become a fraction. And then you can cross multiply. Or you want to say, you know what, I'm going to multiply by square root of n. You can multiply by square root of n on both sides. Or you just cross multiply, actually. Just cross multiply. Or replace it. Any way you want to do, it should give you something like that. Let me show you. It should give you something like that. Well, 10 is equal to square root of 15. Of course, there should be some square root of n because we are trying to cross multiply here, right? Okay, so then we are isolating. So we divide by 10 in both sides. So square root of n is equal to 1.5. Again, you just divide by 10. And of course, we are looking for n only. So what do we do? We just do the opposite. So we just square in both sides. We just basically just square in both sides. Square this side, square this side. Okay, that's what I mean, square. And of course, this n is equal to 2.25 if I square. And I would like to recall this said greater than. So I would like to put down greater than symbol in my sample size. So this is a sample. Uh, in order to satisfy this pro problem or you know we have to have a sample size greater than 2.25 so this is how we find the sample size i hope you understand thank you